What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a roof garden in Revit. Now green roofs are quite popular these days but as far as I'm concerned if you're creating a green roof it makes sense to create a garden on that roof. It doesn't only have to be kind of ecological, it can also be very enjoyable for the people living in the building. So in today's tutorial I'm just going to show you how would I approach this roof garden in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe and also follow me on social media, I post there, there regularly, regularly now. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and as you can see here we got just a, a fictional building and you would have to have one part that's kind of going above the, the actual garden where the, the elevator shaft or the stair would lead to and then here you would place a door and then this whole surface is basically the roof garden. Now I've already got a floor in place but uh, what you need to do now is you need to add some layers for the grass and uh, everything else that we're going to be placing on this roof garden. And I'm just going to move Revit out of the way just for a second and as you can see here I've got a couple of families and I've got this gazebo project that, I've done, that I did a while back. There's actually a tutorial on this so check out the first link in the description of this video to see how to create this gazebo that I'm actually going to be inserting here on this roof garden. But let's maximize Revit now and let's start playing around. So let's go to level 4, this is level 4, the garden level, and the actual floor that we have over here, it's uh, the height offset is 0, 0, so every new layer that we add on that we'll need to be adding a height offset just to bring it above this uh, existing floor. So let's start off with the, well, with the logical first step and that's to place some grass over our roof. So I'm just going to go here to floor, edit type, duplicate and create a new layer. Let's just call it grass, hit OK, go into edit and let's just do it 0.05. So this is in meters, so this is like 5 centimeters or 2 inches. And let me go here and type in grass. Now you can either use this plant or grass, I usually use plant but let's change it up a bit so let's use grass for this one and let's just hit apply and ok and ok, ok again and let's place a rectangle over here kind of like this. Now uh, uh, people are actually going to be exiting on this roof garden from this here structure so I'm just going to leave it a bit, uh, leave a bit room here so let me add 2 meters so you kind of have some wood decking or something like that over here on this part before you actually step on the grass. So okay, nope. And now this is, if I go into 3D, as you can see these are kind of overlapping and you get this ugly texture. So let's offset it by the thickness of the grass which is point, oops, which is 0 0.05 meters or 5 centimeters. So now this is above the the floor and if I go here into realistic for a second you can see now we can see the grass. Okay let's go back into hidden line to make it a bit easier to work with. Let's go back into level 4 and let's add that wooden decking over here on this part. So I'm just going to go to floor and go into edit type, duplicate, let's just call this wood, hit OK and Let's go into edit type, we can leave the same thickness but for the material let's just search for some wood and we actually have a good uh, kind of material that looks like uh, wood decking, it's called, I think it's called sliding or something like this, siding, siding, ok, and let's just hit apply, ok, ok again, ok again and let's immediately give it an offset of 0.05 and let's place a rectangle over here and let's just hit finish and nope. Okay, so now we have this here, kind of wood decking and this grass over here. Okay, now let's add some elements, so let's add our gazebo over here. You don't only want to have a kind of a surface, you want to have a place where people can kind of hang out and have some shade from the, from the sun, so that's why we have a gazebo. And the gazebo is over here, but we can't just kind of load it in as a family, we need to link it up as a project, so let me maximize this for a second. So let's just go here to insert and find a link Revit and here I'm just going to go to desktop, we've got this gazebo and just kind of leave it at origin to origin and open it up. 
Now it's actually going to be placing it in the first level in the middle of the drawing as that's where it was originally modeled. So let's just go to some elevation like south elevation for example and as you can see here we've got something and if I go here to wireframe you can see this is our uh, our gazebo family so I'm just going to bring it up a bit and place it kinda over here and you don't have to be too accurate with the layers I think this works so let's just go to level 4 and this is the orientation let's just rotate it a bit so it's facing the right way and let's just place it here near this wall kind of centered on this roof garden. Okay, so once we have this, let's create a strip, kind of a, a little track to go from here to the gazebo. So for that, I'm going to go again to floor and we're going to create some stone, kind of some, some stones to go from here to here. So let's just go here into edit type, go duplicate, call this stone like Emma Stone. Okay, so let's uh, change the material, type in stone, and I like this, uh, the travel, uh, tra tra traventine, I like this one, it's got the, this nice kind of beige-ish color, so let's just hit apply, okay. Uh, we can make it, yeah, let's leave it at five. But uh, now because our grass is at 5, so we need to give it a higher offset, so it needs to go at point 0.1 to be above the grass. And let's just create one rectangle over here where we have kind of the, the size of this thing, and let's just move it away a bit, kind of like this. Now go CO for copy, check multiple, and then kind of copy it just a few times. So I like to copy it like this, and then I select all of these and go copy again, and then it just makes it easier to go all the way to the other side. Do we have room for one more? Yeah, let's let's do something like this. Yeah, I guess this works. So just hit finish, go into 3D just to check it out. Yeah, and as you can see now it's on top of grass and I always like to go to realistic for a second just to check it out to see does it work and it works. So let's go back to hidden line and back to level 4. Okay, so we have this, now let's add some more elements and if I move Revit out of the way, here I've got these two families, so I'm just going to load them in. Wait for a second for them to upgrade and uh, let's maximize it. And let's go here to component where we're going to be seeing our families. So we've got this chair and let's give it an offset of 0.05 so it's on top of the grass. And let's just place it like this. Now rotate it on the other side. Let's say that the sun is kind of going from this side. So I'm going to rotate it by the value of 45 degrees or maybe 40 degrees. Yeah, this works. So just I'm just going to place it like this and let's check it in 3D. Yeah, that's the, the correct orientation. And now let's array it just to give a few more of these. And let's do five and go to last. So something like that. So we got some chairs over here and uh, another family that they have loaded in and let's find it is this stone family or rock or boulder. So I like this because it kind of adds just a, a little bit more to the project. So I'm just going to place one stone here and you can actually change the size. So let's do one at 1.6 over here. Let's do one at 0 0.8, I don't know, over here. Let's do one at 1.2 again over here. And let's add a smaller one at like 1.6 over here. Maybe one here. Yeah, and as you can see, it just makes everything a bit a bit nicer. And let's add some vegetation, of course. That's the point of a green roof. So some trees you're going to be able to plant, some you won't. Depends on the, on the structure of the whole uh, roof garden that you are creating but let's say that we have enough for a three meter high tree so let's just go here to massing and site go to site components and here we can search for trees and we've got something we've got these let's do this one 4.5 that's that's all right let's see what do we have from three meter trees we can do this Japanese maple tree Let's see what else we have. I don't like this one. It's kind of too, it's too wide, I guess. Let's see what else do we have. Okay, we've got this gray birch tree. And let's see what we have. Japanese cherry, American 
Okay, this is too large. Let's do this. And this one was... Okay, that's the same one. So let's change this up to... I think... I yeah, let's change this up to Japanese cherry. Okay, so and let's go into 3D to check this out to see what this looks like. Okay, it looks quite nice. And uh, let's place a door over here on this wall just to make everything look more realistic. So let's go to level 4. And uh, let's go to doors load family step back to use metric and of course if you're using imperial use imperial and let's go to doors and let's see what do we have okay this is nice a nice glass door just whatever size works place one here so we have a door over there let's see yeah that looks nice and maybe add some windows just to make everything more complete and let's use these larger ones. Kind of place two here, two of them here, finish it up, and let's go into 3D. Yeah, this is turning out to be very nice. So let's let's try to render it like this just to see what would we get. So or we can use even ray trace. Maybe that's a quicker option for this what we're doing right now. Wait for a second for it to load. Okay, so this is what we get. So it looks nice already, but let's cr create some uh, better 3D views. So let's go to not shaded, hit a line. Okay, let's go into level 4 and let's place a camera in the gazebo that I think that would be a cool view. So let's go from here, kind of like this. Yeah, this looks nice and just make it a larger kind of a larger view like this just to see everything and let's try rendering this so let's go with medium and hit render okay this looks quite cool let's uh, just play around with the adjustments a bit with the exposure to make it a bit lighter perhaps and make the shadows lighter of course yeah this this looks quite nice so that's our roof garden in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick kind of a Revit gameplay video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.